Hello and welcome back to Detective Grimoire. Last time we found out that all of the items, apart from the mask, used in the costume to look like Boggy the Swamp Monster, that were all covered in the same kind of swamp juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a challenge. Oh, we also had something else. The black it. leggings you found in your bag this morning. They're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in the swamp is covered in slime. What's your angle, Grimoire? Mm, well, that's not true. Uh, that is likely true. I have proof, no. Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. Yeah. Costume? Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Well, you know, I don't have proof someone else took them. If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? Besides, look at them. What do you notice? Oh, wow, wow, no! Uh, far too long. No, they're loose and stretched. And they're loose and stretched. That's right, someone else. Someone larger than me has worn these. They're stretched out, especially at the waist. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody stole them to use in their boggy costume, and then put them back in your bag when they were done? If you say so. It's not my job to know all the details. It's my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? Oh, my, yes. Uh, but only if you choose one for me. Hmm. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. Well, okay, I am. <laughs> a small plastic toy sold at the gift shop has the cartoony appearance of Boggy. Boggy's feet are hidden in a bucket of water. It's interesting. Okay, well, we weren't actually done. Uh, Remington. So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? I didn't have one. I think I spoke to him twice, ever. He usually seemed really busy, but more like... Preoccupied. Preoccupied? Like he was thinking about something else? Something that wasn't this tourist attraction? Uh -huh. Who can say? What do old men think about? What? 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 I, are you implying that I know the answer to that? <laughs> uh, I like her. She has that cheeky kind of nature, and she is flirtatious. Well, okay. Feels like I'm done talking to her. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with that, but sure. Uh, let's go up the path to Harper. Mm. You said you knew Remington? He and I knew each other for a long time. I came to work at his tourist attraction in the early days, when he needed help. Well, what kept you here? I know most people wouldn't want to work in a place like this. I actually like it here, so I was happy to oblige. You might like it, but I still don't see why anyone would build a tourist attraction here. Mr. Remington has his reasons. He probably had several. I don't presume to know what they all were. Even though we were friends, he had some secrets, some hobbies, that I was happy to let him keep secret. Secrets? Hobbies? A secret hobby? He was a man with a dream. I can tell you that much. Uh, yeah, let's present the hunting photo. One of Mr. Remington's secrets. I never wanted to know the details, but these men travel the world seeking mysterious animals to hunt. They consider myths and legends to be the ultimate prey. So we still have missing Echo as the sort of... Grass, trees, nothing unusual. Are you sure about that? Hmm. So the only challenge we have left is Echo. Hmm. Present clues and profiles, yes. Yes, oh, mm. that's actually true. Uh, present a profile. Uh, Echo. It's here a lot. 
I think he's been putting less effort into his protest recently. Which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat. Nothing of real importance. Hmm. I don't know. Knowing what someone eats is rather important if you're looking to, say, poison them. Okay, well, hmm. That might be what we need. No. No? No, not yet, oh, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Suspects. Hmm. Well, I I don't think there I could put a buggy. By an explorer. Hmm. So that, this fits with the murder weapon. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he apparently did. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's try and hear what um, Sally has to say about uh, Echo. I think... Like, anyone's opinions on Echo right now is perhaps the key to unlocking. Yeah, I have a pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protest used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. What's he doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. There might be something I can ask Echo about. Okay, okay. My breakfast! <laughs> Okay, my labels now. Let's see. Spends more time holding. And less time. No, that's wrong. And more time he didn't. Spends less time. Ah! Echo spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's there been doing that's more go. important than his protest. Right. Well, to Echo. Hmm. I heard you've been spending less time protesting recently and more time, uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask- I'm touched people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not worth writing down, maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. <laughs> Look, if you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why Echo was hidden away in his tent. Notebook time. I have a silly nickname. Uh, well, I don't think he was afraid of the monster because he said he was a fan. And I don't believe he is of the impression that... Uh, why would he be hiding from text? Literally, I mean... It hasn't been raining, as far as I'm aware, so... You've been hiding in your tent because the swamp is haunted! <laughs> Why not? Well, I... Apparently that was correct. Okay, now what? I think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. Ooh. Chapter 4, The Beginning of the End. 
Okay, well, back to Officer James then. Oh, hello. You again. Ready with some cryptic advice, no doubt? Don't let them take him. Who? The, the murderer? That's my job. I gotta make sure that no, they... No, the creature. Don't take him away. So... This place is his home. She oh, was oh, recorded buggy. in a different hey, place. Like, I perhaps didn't not really a studio, he could perhaps be a from home. Responsible for this mess. You, you didn't? Well, no. Okay, mainly because I didn't believe he existed at all. No, I don't believe he could ever hurt anyone. Mm, no, I've always known who the murderer was, and it's not Boggy. Well, I don't know who the murderer is, but I know that it's not Boggy. I don't have enough evidence because if I say this, chances are that it's going to say, well, who is it then? Ah, uh, well, never mind. I've always known who the murderer was, and it's not Boggy. So, he won't get in trouble? He won't have to leave? Well, he's been out here for, what, 60 years, hasn't he? And stayed out of trouble for that long. I have a feeling some detective isn't going to change all that in one day. Well, in, in that case, he says thank you. Who is that little girl? Yes, I would like to know that as well. Okay, that was a bit uh, of a close cut. Was this something out here that we perhaps missed? No, I don't think so. I think that was merely there to... Can I walk further away? No, okay. Ah, you finally returned. Well, did you find the swamp creature? Where is he? It... Uh, I didn't find him. I didn't find him. What? You're not getting paid to wander about aimlessly, Grimoire. Get back out there. Um, uh, I don't need to. I don't need to. What? Oh, this is the first one that I've had a back, um, Borky's criminal record. Why not? I thought he was our prime suspect. Mm, well, uh, not anymore. Didn't you find photographic evidence of Boggy from last night? Let me see that photo. Oh. If that's not Boggy, what is it? I mean... That would just be this, right? I found designs for the costume in a trash can. Not only that, I collected all the pieces of the costume myself. Well, nearly all of them. There's still the one that... But the footprints at the scene of the crime! How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? I can't, but... Oh, uh... Hold... How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? What? Was it not this? Uh... Flippers? Oh, explore it. How can you prove the... What? Okay, Flippers. How can you prove... What? Hmm... Minor toy? How can you... No, that, 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 with that... Film footage. Dog? No. How can you prove? How can you prove? Mm. So. How can you? No. Okay. Uh... I don't know. Film footage? How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? Um, I don't think the map would do anything here. Hunting rifle? How can you? No. Uh, flower book? No, that doesn't say anything about that. Curtain piece? No. Blacklist? How can you prove? 
Uh, missing page? No, that that doesn't make sense. Lockpick? How can you prove these don't belong? Not the hat. This one? How can you prove? No. What is it then? Gloves? How can you prove these don't? Uh... What's this? Oh, I oh, thought there were no right. records of a footprint anywhere. No public records. The footprints at the crime scene don't match the ones on this page. They were just a I part of these slippers. About those. A part of the costume. But Grimoire, this costume, it doesn't have claws of any kind. How do you explain the three wounds on the victim's chest? Oh, that's easy. The prongs match up with the wounds perfectly. The handle's even covered in slime, see? Ah, but this swamp slime was one of the reasons Buggy became a suspect in the first place. Surely this only incriminates the creature further. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But that slime, it's... Not exactly what you think. I mean, it's swamp juice. This stuff is an uncanny resemblance to the so-called swamp slime. A bunch of it was stolen from the storeroom of the cafe, which reminds me. What is that, exactly? A poisoned hot dog. It's the second reason that the murderer broke into the storeroom. He put this green powder on the entire supply, just to make sure. To make sure of what? Uh, yeah. To make sure Remington got ill and had to return to his office. Because we know that Remington, Remington went back to his office? Alone? Okay, well this might be the final episode then. I've been looking through your evidence, Grimoire. One piece in particular seems critical to me. I think we need to work the out... video footage? Vincent Vanderpeer filmed it last night. At the exact moment of the murder, I believe. Well, exactly. I think we can both agree these sounds in the background. They're essential in our mystery. Could you talk me through them? Just rearrange the descriptions on the left to match the sounds on the right. Uh, Drag them around and keep swapping until you're happy with the order. Oh. And if you want to hear the sounds again, you can tap on them. Well, I had them in order. No problem. I can always check my case file if I want to go over my notes. Yes. Choose. So, creaking, outcry, blast, clang, outcry, ripping, thud, clang. Just rearrange the disc. No, no. Uh, let's see. Those we have to. I mean, that's. Which? Oh, I'm putting these. Okay. Um, lands on the planks. Yeah, that's definitely not. That's a. Uh, lands on the plank. Let's see. That's not a very loud blast for a rifle. Let's see, clang. Okay, let's see. Uh, ripping test. Grabs the middle poker and stabs. Hmm. Ah. Oh, that's more about this. Then that would be this. Hi. Oh. Ah, excellent. There's just two small details bothering me. First of all, if Remington ripped off a piece of his curtains, why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? I mean, we know that. Turns out the murderer took that piece of fabric and concealed it inside the head of the costume. Then he fled the crime scene to hide all the parts in different areas of the swamp. Ah, well, that's my problem. If Remington fired his rifle, how did the assailant survive and manage to escape? Did Remington miss his target? At point blank, 
A man of his experience? I don't think so. In fact, the answer to that question is the very last link in our chain. The one thing that has eluded me so far. It goes to- I'll drag the clue items from the left onto my- And we'll- With the- I mean, we know this one, so- It looks almost like the- Wait! You never found the body piece! The torso! I mean, it almost looks like it's made of cork. You're right. And I never would have found it. Not lying around. Not like the others. But what does this have to do with the murderer surviving the rifle shot? This torso is probably made up of some thick material. Something covering the culprit's entire upper body. I believe it may have even been enough to soften- to soften the impact from a bullet! Aha! Exactly. Well, let's put your theory to the test. Where is that last piece of the costume? But how? We looked everywhere. Not a single clue. Simple. He's still wearing it. Oh yes, he did say that he was wearing extra layers. I don't know what you want with me. Sounds like you two were smart enough to uncover the real criminal in this swamp, and lucky enough to have somebody else deal with him for you. You worked it out. He had his rifle on him. He got half a glance at me and pulled the trigger without hesitation. But why would he do that? You were... you were dressed as Buggy. He shouldn't be pointing his gun at a unique scientific specimen, not to mention his main attraction. You're right. It doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? Not unless you're in on the secret. Mm. Mm. My lost hat? No. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty... Uh... Wait... No, no, that Bobby buggy in disguise. Yes. Okay. Was framed because forgot to tell me. No. Can't be proved. That no leads me to believe. Okay. But what was framed because mm, no. What else have we got? What's here to? that it? Echo forgot to tell me that Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. Uh, no. Alright, so that wasn't even close either. Stolen by Boggy. No. Eaten by Boggy? No, definitely not. What could be? Leads me to believe. The hunting photo? No. The poker? No. It was framed? No one has been framed other than Echo, and I'm pretty sure that it was him. Remington, I've never forgotten to tell me anything, so that doesn't fit. Um, none of the others would know. Is this? Bobby Burl forgot to tell me that Echo was Boggy in disguise. I'm losing my... A secret that Remington kept hidden in this office. Ow! That should actually have been obvious. The hunting photo leads me to believe Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. The hunter and the hunted. A secret society, an order of hunters, seeking out mysterious and elusive creatures. The order goes further than this one man, and much further than this one swamp. The whole thing is... 
kind of distressing. I knew something was wrong as soon as I stepped into that office. I'm glad you've finally come around. It's not just But the... what about Remington? He was a member of this... this order? He made Boggy his own personal project. His own... obsession. For years he hunted the creature. The potential perfect addition to his... collection. But he owned the tourist attraction. He set it up himself, didn't he? He did. It was just his way of forming a legal loophole. Since the area became protected, he and his friends were unable to come here for hunting anymore. Boggy's Bog was just a front for his own little game. A man pursuing a creature. A creature that might not even exist. And that's why Remington kept a rifle nearby at all times? Well, exactly. He didn't want to take any chances. Now, don't you see? I did this place a service. Did Boggy a service. That creature, he can live in peace again. Can he? You tried to frame him for murder. You wanted everyone to think he was some kind of ruthless predator? Well, think about it. Once he became suspected of murder, they'd have no choice but to shut this whole place down. Everyone would finally realize they had no business here. But he's not a killer. But he's not a killer. You're the one who... You're... Detective. You... You... It's... I... It's finished. Well, don't be angry. You should be glad. It's finally time to leave the swamp. You have another job to do. I... I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to somebody like you, but I never intended to kill him. Just to scare him. Convince him... Boggy wasn't going to let him live here in peace any longer. But, true to form, he had his rifle on him. You worked out the rest yourself. It makes it, it makes a difference. Well, Mr. Everstone, I'm afraid you'll still have to come with us. Fortunately, there's a police station just a few miles down <laughs> Hey, wait! <laughs> like you solved more than one mystery tonight. So, I'll just cut all sounds off while I sort of uh, go through this. So, um, yeah, I was definitely right. It was Joshua Tumar. Um, I knew him from various uh, games and animated series on Newgrounds. Um, I probably should have recognized Aaron Hansen or Eagle Raptor, also from Newgrounds. 
or at least in my case from Newgrounds, um, as the nerd, but well, I didn't. But yeah, this is definitely the length I remember the first game being, roughly. So yeah, this is basically just a return to old Flash games, essentially. So yeah, like this one was on armorgames.com and I think it's still there. Well, perhaps not this, but the first one is definitely still there. I don't know if this one was also made for Armor Games or if it wasn't. Um, I also don't know if the saga of Detective Grimmar was ever actually continued, even though it very clearly said here in the end of the game that to be continued. I don't know if that was ever the case. Anyway, I had a lot of fun playing this game. We didn't completely 100% it, but I think we got most of the way through to say that, well, we definitely got solved the case, which is all in all what's really important. Especially if you don't, if you like me, don't really care about perfecting a game. I like to do my best, obviously, the first time around. If I 100% it the first time around, that's okay, but I don't aim towards that achievement. I usually play to just complete the storyline. Then, if I like it enough, down the line, I can always return and say, you know what, maybe I should try and 100% this game. I don't think I would ever record that because that's not my style of videos. Um, and I apologize, the last video here was a bit lacking in terms of commentary. That is partly because I was enamored with the game, partly because this game had voice acting. I don't expect that. I expected it to have text that I had to read myself. But um, I certainly didn't mind. This is a very nice, very cool little game that brings back memories of time spent on sites like Armor Games or the games found on Newgrounds or miniclip.com or any, any site like that with old Flash games and such. So yeah, a trip down memory lane. And I could definitely see myself doing more of this or something similar in videos to come. But that's it for this episode and that's it for Detective Grimoire for now. So until the next video, take care.